hello welcome back to a new vlog it's the start of a new week it is sunday it is easter happy easter i have to work today sadly um but hopefully it's not crazy long because i think today is supposed to be a beautiful day yesterday was fantastic it was it got in the 70s, and I think today is supposed to hit the 70s again. And so I'm really hoping today is not a long day at work because I just want to come home and be outside. It's already pretty nice out this morning. And our neighbor, um, they have a little boy, and he's so cute. But they're out. They're always out doing stuff. But right now, they are out, and they have, like, this big model airplane, like one of those styrofoam ones, and they're just, like, throwing it around. It's so cool. Anyway, books. I started behind closed doors, closed, behind closed doors, why do I say closed, weird, uh, last night, well not last night, yesterday, and I am on page 215, so I'm pretty much almost done, I'm going to try to finish it today, it's very interesting, so essentially this book is about this couple who had known each other for six months and then they got married and are living this perfect life. And they have friends over for dinner and the wife is cooking these fancy meals. Has She doesn't have to work. Um, she's great at gardening. She's great at cooking. She's like, she's perfect. She's this perfect wife. And the, the male, the husband, is a lawyer who... Uh, advocates for battered women basically and it's just kind of ironic uh he's this picture perfect handsome model star perfect man so kind so chivalrous and it's just not what it seems you learn pretty early on that he is definitely in control of her. And you can kind of pick up on some signals throughout if you know where to look. I have a degree in psychology, so I under, like I know some of the signs of men who are controlling and manipulative and abusive in that way. Uh, not necessarily physically abusive, but kind of isolating oneself, uh, taking away their job, their money, their cars, their anything that is theirs they take away and basically this person has to rely on the other person so i kind of knew the signs i kind of recognized them but that's basically the basis of the story is that behind closed doors he's controlling everything everything the story is also really interesting because you flip-flop between past and present so it starts off in the present and you get this picture perfect dinner party and then it goes in the past and it talks about when they first meet and then it talks about as it, they progress to getting married and like so on and so forth. So it's very interesting and the main character has a younger sister. There's a 17 age difference which is really interesting because that's me and my oldest sister. We have a 17 years age difference. But the young sister has Down syndrome and she is in a kind of like a school um, until she turns 18. And so once she turns 18, custody goes to her sister and her sister's husband. So it's kind of weird. Um, this all takes place in London. It's been a very interesting book so far. Very easy to read, pretty quick read. But I don't know. There's not a whole lot. Like, it's a thriller. But so far there hasn't been a whole lot of, like, thrillerness. Like, it's not... It's more manipulative than thriller-y. So I don't know. I like those ones where you have no idea what's coming. Those are the kind of thrillers I like. But you can kind of... It's not super predictable, but, you know. So anyway, I'm going to read until I have to leave. Um, and then hopefully read quite a bit tonight. So maybe I'll check in later and maybe I won't. Who knows? Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, and I was going to check back in yesterday, but I just ended up not. We ended up rearranging our living room last night, which was fun, and I love the way it turned out. 
I finished behind closed doors yesterday, like not long after I got home. And I really have no idea how I feel about it. So I, okay, so I thought it was 340 pages because I had like gone through to the end on my Kindle to just see how many pages were on my Kindle. But apparently that was like, they had a reader's group like questions and like points to talk about. So it was like 294 pages. So I had read on Saturday, 214 pages. And so I was expecting to have like 130 pages for yesterday to read for it. And I, I was like, as I was getting close to the end, I'm like, man, some dramatic twist is going to happen if we still have 40 pages left. And it turns out like I got to the last page expecting the conversation that was happening to continue and swiped and nothing. It was over. So it wasn't loose ended. Like it told you how it happened and what happened, but I don't know. I feel kind of weird about it. Okay, I'm checking in. It's later today and I've been sitting outside pretty much all day. Like I have a little bit, like I'm sun kissed. I don't think you can really tell, but I'm definitely pink. Um, I have been reading The Bridge Kingdom and I, haven't, I didn't really talk about it, but I want to because it's really good. If you are fans of From Blood and Ash, like that series, you will love this because it definitely gives me from blood and ash vibes not a whole lot at guitar vibes but definitely well okay a little bit a little bit reminds me of from um at guitar but more more than anything it gives me from blood and ash vibes basically it's about these two kingdoms and they had a treaty 15 years previous that said Basically, the kingdom of one would have to offer up a daughter to marry the king of the other um, or the prince at the time to kind of unite the kingdoms and bring peace. So when the time comes, the king basically, the king from this island with the daughters, daughter, <laughs> he had like 12 daughters and basically he would choose one but he had been training them their whole life for this so that basically they could like infiltrate the other kingdom and so when it came down to it the main character basically killed her sister so that she would be sure to get the spot because there was another sister that was potentially probably going to be the the chosen daughter but anyway she killed them all and she was the chosen daughter so now she went to the other kingdom and it's it's very similar to from blood and ash where she's finding out that she was kind of fed lies about the other kingdom or it's not exactly what it seems and there were lies about the king saying he was this horrible person 
and that they'd be really cruel when in fact like he's super honorable and very kind and like cares about his people so it's just it's so good i want to keep reading but i can't because i am gonna have class soon but basically she's really 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 good at a lot of things like she's trained in so much she's seductive she is smart she is very apparently knives <laughs> knives are her specialty so you know i love a good freaking knife to the throat enemies to lovers i'm so excited i need like i'm so ready for the romance of blossom i'm kind of nervous that when i finish it i'm gonna want to pick up the second book immediately because it's duology and uh, i'm gonna have to like fly through my other books um because i'm definitely gonna run read the second one i can already tell so i'm pretty pumped i'm really enjoying this Honestly, I should probably just go ahead and buy the second one on Kindle. See if it's... I got the first one for $2.99 and I don't think the second one was $2.99. But I might have to check because it's so good. But that's where I'm at. I have class tonight. I'm going to read a little bit more tomorrow. And then um, I'm hoping to finish it by tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, hopefully by tomorrow or Wednesday morning. Because I want to start uh, the book thief on Wednesday with my sister. So... That's my plan now, and I'll see you guys later. Good morning! I don't think I checked in at all yesterday, so today's Wednesday, and I really should have because I finished The Bridge Kingdom, and wow, uh, I want to read the second book immediately, but I am reading The Book Thief now, and I told my sister we would start it today, which is Wednesday, so... I think that will be kind of easy to get through so I'm gonna read that and then I think I'm probably gonna read the next book in the bridge kingdom there's it's just a duology so it's just two um but I actually am flying through my TBR for this month like I've already read three books and it's April 7th and my goal was seven books so it's probably gonna hit at least eight and I also need to do a like beta read for someone so I'm reading someone's book that they are writing and just I need to give feedback on it. So that is my month and I'm absolutely just absolutely loving it so much. But I really want to film today and honestly the lighting isn't terrible right now. But it's just been really rainy today and cloudy so I'm not really sure how, how good the lighting will be in here. But... That's really all I have for now. I made some breakfast. I've got a little London fog here because it's rainy. And I also have like a little aha because sometimes I don't want just like plain hot stuff. I want something cold too. So that's, that's how I am this morning. Hi, happy Thursday. I don't remember what I said yesterday. I think I came on um, saying that I had finished the Bridge Kingdom and was going to start the Book Thief. I think that's where I left off. Um, yeah, the Bridge Kingdom was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And I I, had, I bought the second book like immediately after finishing it on Kindle. So I'm hoping that um, once I finish the Book Thief, I will start that immediately because I'm like way ahead of schedule for my reading for this month, which is awesome. I was not expecting to be this ahead, which is, I'm just happy. So, The Book Thief. I actually read that much yesterday. <laughs> I'm on page 307. It's a very easy read. Like, the way that it's formatted, like, is really easy to fly through. It's, okay. So, like, there's a lot of just, like, little chunky sections um, a lot of spacing, which is nice. And then some pages have these, like, here's this. So this side doesn't have any words. And then the start of a new chapter. And there's a lot of, like, these narration notes, kind of. So, like, the narrator kind of put some things in. And then also, like, later on, I loved this. I thought this was cool. Someone had, like created their own book and kind of like put it in so like you're reading the book that was created in the book which I think is also really cool and so yeah so far I am enjoying it it is turning out so far to be a solid four star read for me 
I actually really like the way that it is narrated and that is through the like eyes of death and in this case um death is a person it's just it's really interesting because death is giving us the story but also slipping in a couple of future happenings like a glimpse of what's going to happen to specific people in the future and i just kind of like that as well so i've got a couple hours before my class starts and i'm going to try and get quite a bit of reading done because ideally i would like to finish this tonight i don't think that will happen it might um i'd like to finish it tonight so i can start the trader queen tomorrow which is the second book in the duology of the preacher kingdom so i'm gonna leave you at that and i'm gonna go read happy friday I was going to check in last night. I'm glad I didn't. So I finished The Book Thief and I ugly cried. Ugly cried. I I wasn't expecting to at all, honestly, because the way the book is written, since it's narrated by death, you kind of get glimpses of what is coming. So you know people are going to die. You know certain stuff is going to happen. Um, but... When it happened at the end of the book, I wasn't, I did not see it coming. I mean, like I did, but I didn't see exactly how, and it broke me. I mean, it's uncommon if a book written about the Holocaust doesn't break me and doesn't make me sob and feel nauseous and just awful. But, oh my gosh, I, like, I was crying like I was hurt. Like, couldn't see. I was, like, shaking. I started hiccuping. Like, you know that's a good cry when you hiccup. Like, oh, my goodness. And I was kind of thinking four stars throughout this book. I was like, okay, it's not nothing like, like, it's fiction. Obviously based on real events that have happened. But sometimes the way books are written um, are really, really, really impactful. And this one just, like, it was, but not quite as much as some of the other ones I've read. So I was like, okay, this is going to be like four star. <clears throat> but I finished it and I knew I had to give it five stars. I'm very easy to please. And typically, like with Holocaust books, I usually give them five stars because they're usually just so well done and executed that like, oh, it just, I can't. But, and I highly recommend this to literally everybody. It was so good. And now I'm going to read another fantasy book because I need to emotionally kind of not. Like last night, it was hard for me to go to sleep because I just felt nauseous and I just kept thinking about this book and it was not good for my heart. But um, I'm going to read The Traitor Queen. I don't know if I'll get it done by Saturday. Uh, kind of got a lot I need to do. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to try to read it though. I'm excited to read it. And that's about it. I do have to work tomorrow and normally I wasn't supposed to, so I don't really know how much reading I'll get done. Hello and happy Saturday, everybody. Oh, I am exhausted. I had to work today and it was a little longer than I thought and I've done absolutely nothing since I've gotten home. Obviously, I, I took a shower, but I'm out of breath, I came up the stairs. I, I came home and I had McDonald's and I watched an episode of No Demo Reno and then I've been watching TikToks like ever since then and I'm not mad but I need to chill out for a little bit. I did I pop in yesterday? I honestly don't remember. I did. I popped in before I had to go to work or after. I think I popped in after work yesterday. Anyway, I read a little less than half of The Trader Queen last night. Oh, this book, I didn't know where it was going to go, to be honest. I usually don't. But this had me the way... Okay, so in the first book, we did get both perspectives of the main characters who are Lara and Aaron. 
but it was more Lara than Aaron. And in this one has been like almost every other chapter and it's been so good. Like I've been on the edge of my seat just wanting to read the next chapter because it's so stinking good. And so I just hope that because it's a duology that they do this one justice and that it is just as good if not better than the first one. And right now I'm just like really anxious and I just... Ugh, there's been so much betrayal and so much trust that has been broken and I just need it to be fixed and I need the main characters to be okay. So that's where I'm at. I don't think I'll be able to finish it tonight. It's already 7, 6.30, which is sad because I was hoping to maybe get five books done this week. But I mean, four and a half is not bad. That's the most I've ever done in a week, I think literally ever. And I just, I'm loving it. This week has been awesome. I'm sorry. I think this vlog is a little bit on the longer side. And that is purely just because I read four books. And that just added up. Because I wanted to talk about each one. Any users, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to read a little bit tonight. Hopefully. And I'm going to just chill and... That's about it. So I'm going to stop vlogging and pick it up next week, a.k.a. tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching these vlogs if you do. I really enjoy them. I don't know whether to do more vlog style or if you guys like these check-ins. I don't, I'm trying to figure it out, but we'll just, we, we'll just continue to grow. That's all that matters. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!